Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to review the realistic TRC 480 single sideband and AM 40 channel radio. This is an older vintage radio, it's no longer in production. Uh, the cousin radio to this one was the base radio, the 459. Uh, it was a base version, single sideband radio with power supply and everything. Uh, this radio is a mobile radio, uses a 5-pin DIN microphone configuration. This radio does have an interesting feature on it besides sideband. Uh, it does have a scan feature which really wasn't found on too many of the older radios. Let's zoom in real quick and I'll show you some of the features. As you can see this radio has a volume, squelch, RF gain, and clarifier on it. Um, those are all just standard knob controls. This radio also has a dimmer located right here uh, which dims and brightens the display. This radio uh, instead of the newer version uh, green receive light that changes to a red light uh, indicator on the meter in these older radios it actually changes from uh, kind of a white light to a red light and you can see that it's changed over to uh, a darker red light it may not show up that well on the video and it goes back to a white light so that's kind of a cool feature We'll pan over here. This radio has an up down channel button selectors. Just kind of tap them, a small electronic switch. It's the only way to change channels really on this radio. Radio also has push button switches for the type of mode for AM, lower sideband, and upper sideband over here. And you push in the button and you see the light light up, letting you know which mode, uh, which button is pushed in. On the lower half, we've got a monitor button, PA button, noise blank, ANL button. I also have a channel 9 button here for instant channel 9 access. And then the neat feature is on this radio is it does have a search function. And it'll scan through the channels. So kind of neat there, something you just don't see too often on uh, older radios. And there was a couple versions that had something similar to this. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, as you can see, this radio does have a sticker on the front of that. And that's obviously not stock. Um, we will take off the bottom case and I'll show you a couple adjustment points real quick. Okay, I removed the bottom cover. As you can see on the right hand side there, there's a hole in the cover. You do have to remove the microphone uh, before you take off the bottom cover of the radio. The uh, AM power adjustment on this radio is going to be in the back of the radio, located right near the power cords uh, where they come in. This is VR14. As you can see on this radio, someone's hardwired the, the power cords in there. Obviously, the original plug is gone. Once again, though, this is VR14. Located near the back, that's your AM power adjustment. Your uh, AMC adjustment, modulation adjustment, is going to be up near the front of the radio. And uh, as you can see, it's going to be right in here. That's VR13. Once again, it's right here, located near the front of the radio. That's VR13, that is your modulation adjustment. Up here you're going to have your ALC adjustment. This is also at the back of the board, um, kind of near the VR14. VR14 is over here, VR5 is here, that's your ALC sideband adjustment. And once you tune the radio up, uh, you'll probably see about uh, 15 watts on sideband and AM swing as well. Um, dead key power, obviously you want to keep it under 4 watts, especially on the older radio. Often with these older radios, uh, you'll get people who key them and they'll hear a clicking noise inside and that's actually a mechanical function. And just to show you guys, I'll zoom in here. This is what you're actually going to hear um, and I'll see if we can, I don't know if we'll be able to hear it very well. You can actually see the switch moving as I key the radio. Station. Yeah, go ahead. We're just testing out a sideband radio here at TRC 480. We just wanted to see how it sounded and if it was on frequency. It's right on frequency, right on the, right on the NASA. This uh, TRC 480 is a neat sideband radio. It does have a neat scan feature on it, as you can see. Uh, once you tuned it up, we'll do about 15 watts uh, on sideband and AM. Nothing huge on the watts. I don't think you'll see in the 20 numbers normally on this. And a lot of these older radios, I don't like to run them too rough anyway. 
Um, the quality in the signal seems fine, good audio. The radio doesn't get a huge uh, amount of boost from adding a power microphone. The stock microphone actually worked pretty well on this. The noise to signal ratio on these isn't quite as good as like the old presidents, but you know, you can still hear everyone fine, and obviously you could have it tuned and adjusted by a tech for your preferences. Once again, this was the TRC480 by CB Radio Magazine. Hope you enjoy the review.